Conway Castle is a fortification in Conway, located in North Wales. It was built by Edward I during his conquest of Wales between 1283 and 1287, constructed as part of a wider project to create the walled town of Conway. The combined defences cost around £15,000 which was a huge sum of money in that period. Over the next few centuries, the castle played an important part in several wars. It withstood the siege of Maddog Llewellyn in the winter of 1294-95, acted as a temporary haven for Richard II in 1399, and was held for several months by the forces loyal to Owen Glendower. Following the outbreak of the English Civil War in 1642, the castle was held by forces loyal to Charles I, holding out until 1646 when it surrendered to the parliamentary armies. In the aftermath, the castle was partially slighted by Parliament to prevent it being used for any further revolts. And here we are, in the chapel tower. Work began on cutting the ditch around Conway Castle within days of Edward's decision. The work was controlled by Sir John Bonnevere and overseen by Master Mason, James of St George. And the first phase of work began, 1283 and 1284, focused on creating the exterior curtain walls and towers. In the second phase, from 1284 and 1286, the interior buildings were erected, while work began on the walls from the neighbouring town. By 1287, the castle was complete. The builders recruited huge numbers of labourers from across England for the task. The labourers massed at Chester and then walked into Wales. Despite spending an astronomical £15,000 on Conway, Edward I only stayed there here once. Trapped by a Welsh rebellion in 1294, he spent a miserable Christmas with just one barrel of wine in the castle cellar for comfort. In 1301, the future Edward II came to the castle to receive homage as Prince of Wales and stayed for a couple of months. Conway also hosted tense negotiations between Richard II and his eventual captors in 1399. Before the castle was constructed in the 13th century, the site was home to a Cistercian monastery, and the spirits of the past residents are said to haunt the castle, lamenting in a hooded cloak about the loss of his abbey. Other sightings have included various silhouettes and dark figures watching the town below from the battlements and windows. This is Conway Castle.